All right, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a very basic derivation of kinematics equations. And I'm going to be dealing with a situation that has no acceleration. And we're going to be looking for the position function as a function of time. And that's going to basically give us this equation here. The final position is going to equal initial position plus velocity times time. But the question is, where does that come from? And I'm going to start out here with a very basic application of calculus, which is basically telling you that the velocity as a function of time is equal to the uh, rate of change of the position function over time, or the first derivative of the position function uh, with respect to time. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to solve for uh, a position here, right? So I'm going to have to separate these variables here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my velocity here times dt, and that's going to equal dx right here, OK? So velocity times dt equals dx. That's my first thing I'm going to do there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate both sides of this equation. So I'm going to take an integral of velocity times dt equals the integral of dx, OK? So the next question I need to ask myself is, what am I going to do with this velocity? Is this a function that needs to stay in the integral, or is it going to come out? Well, in this particular case, there's no acceleration. So this particular velocity right here is a constant, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that out. So I'm going to rewrite this with the velocity out here, dt, and that's going to equal the integral with respect to dx. So the next question I need to ask myself is, do I want to write this as an indefinite integral, or do I want to write this as a definite integral? And we always want to stay away from indefinites if we can, because we're going to end up with a constant, and then we're going to have to apply a boundary condition and come back later to solve for the constant. So right here, I'm going to start uh, from t initial, and I'm going to go to t final. Then I'm going to go here from x initial to x final right here. So that's where I'm starting from. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my t initial. I'm going to assume that we're going to start from 0. That's not always true, but in this simple application, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assume that we start from 0, and I'm going to keep this into a very basic application. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do right here is I have my velocity, and I'm going to, I'm going to evaluate this integral here. So I'm going to end up with dt is going to basically integrate out to t, and I'm going to evaluate this from 0 to t. And this dx here is going to, is going to come out to become an x here when I take the antiderivative, and that's going to be evaluated from x initial to x final. So what I want to do here now is I want to evaluate these points here, these boundary points. I have my final and my initial, so I'm going to have vt is going to equal x minus x initial right here. So if I keep going here, I'm going to try to look for this position here. I'm going to go ahead and just I'm just going to set say that the position, the final position, is going to equal the initial position plus uh, the velocity times the time. So now I, I've basically derived this basic equation up here uh, using starting with nothing but a basic uh, differential equation here. First order, very simple, nothing too spectacular here. The one thing I also want to point out here is that this uh, position here is a function of time. And that's, I'm just going to write that in there just to clarify that point there at the end, because that's going to allow us to find the position at any point in time uh, of this of this object moving with no acceleration. So that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to start out with a series here, and I'm going to derive all of the kinematics equations so you know exactly where they came from.